The world's biggest podcast host, Joe Rogan, has exposed a list of Kamala Harris's demands in order to appear on his show. Following the hugely successful podcast interview between Joe Rogan and Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump, which was viewed 38 million times and counting, there have been calls for Kamala Harris to sit down with Joe Rogan in the same long-form interview style. Nothing has been locked in, but Joe Rogan released a statement on X outlining communication between him and the Harris camp with a list of their requests for the interview. He said, Also, for the record, the Harris campaign has not passed on doing the podcast. They offered a date for Tuesday, but I would have had to travel to her and they only wanted to do an hour. I strongly feel the best way to do it is in the studio in Austin. My sincere wish is to just have a nice conversation and get to know her as a human being. I really hope we can make it happen. This statement attracted a huge response from online commentators, with Charlie Kirk saying, America deserves three hours with Kamala and Joe Rogan unscripted. Hope it happens and she stops trying to dictate the terms. You have a format, it works. She should stop trying to change it, just like America. And this commentator doubled down saying, in studio is the only way. Let the whole world see the real Kamala Harris. What are they scared of? The request to change the normal Joe Rogan Experience podcast interview terms comes after Donald Trump slammed his opponent, saying she wouldn't be able to make it through a three hour long conversation. One of the things I like about doing a show like this, can you imagine Kamala doing this show? She'd I be, could imagine her doing this laying, show. She'll be laying to, on the floor. She was supposed to do it, and she might still she do it, and do. I hope she does. She's not going to do I will it. talk to her like a human being. I would if try to have a conversation with her. If she did this kind of an interview her. with you, I hope she does, because it would be a mess. She'd be <laughs> laying on the floor comatose. She'd, you'd be saying, call in the medics. I think we'd have a fine conversation. I think I'd be able to talk to her. I wouldn't try to interview her. I'd just try to have a conversation with her and hopefully get to know her as a human being. That was my goal, having her on trying to get her to express herself just as a, I don't know if these I don't think these formats are good I don't think that two people first of all I hate the idea of the presidential debates because I hate the idea of a time limitation on complex ideas also you have to break I think you have to have the debates though and whilst Kamala Harris's camp tries to negotiate terms with Rogan vice presidential candidate JD Vance has seized on the publicity opportunity and will appear on the number one podcast Outspoken entrepreneur Andrew Yang reacted to the news, saying, Now that J.D. Vance is going on Joe Rogan, it's all the more important that Kamala Harris also does so. Kamala Harris's demands come after she has suffered through weeks of gaff-ridden appearances, reveals Sky News host Kel Richards. This is why she's such an appalling candidate. She's the worst candidate since Hillary Clinton, and we know what happened to her. So <laughs> she's just a really... She cannot very quickly, off the top of her head, think of a clever way or a, an appropriate way or a tactically good way mm. to react. So she did this really stupid thing of go to the rally down the street, you don't belong in my rally, if you want to say Jesus. I mean, that's... That, as you say, America is a far more religious country than Australia. It is. The vast majority of them are Baptists. They don't want to hear a candidate saying that she's done herself a lot of damage. And then the idea that you can repair it by going to church tells you that Kamala might be Christian on a Tuesday, but not on a Wednesday. Or maybe mm. she's Christian at three o'clock, but not at four o'clock. And that's exactly the problem. She's this changeable, could be anything, chameleon, don't know what she believes, don't know who she is, candidate. And she's underlined that. Yes, I'm really like that. I'm really this very uncertain person. And you'll never know who I really am or what I really believe. She, this, is, this is her doing self damage. She's had a really bad week. Mm, and at the end of the week, she's just making it worse. Sky News host Rowan Dean agrees, saying the Kamala Harris campaign has been a disaster. But uh, Rita, mm -hmm. the, uh, it is looking like Donald Trump will win. That is uh, certainly where things are heading at the moment. But the key thing is that the Kamala Harris uh, campaign really has been a disaster. However you look at it, she is just a woeful candidate. Put all politics aside, just as a performing candidate, she is hopeless, I would say.